Okay, so I was having a fat day, and here is what I did. We've opened a doorway to a world we know nothing about. Hey there, it's Nicole Kellerman, founder and creator of SuccessfulWeightLawSchool.com, where women go to stop dieting, reshape their bodies, and feel wildly alive. All right, so this morning I woke up and I was just having a fat day. And this isn't something that is real common for me. It used to be in the past, but when it comes to my successful weight loss sisters, I always dive into them and really dig deep and figure out, okay, this doesn't have to do with you feeling fat because fat really isn't a feeling. There has to be something deeper here. There has to be something more emotional because the truth is, is when we get really stressed out about something, we tend to just turn on ourselves making us feel fat. So I, you know, this morning I woke up, I went to a personal training client still having a fat day and I noticed I was comparing myself to the other trainers. I was just, am I fatter than her? Is she better looking than me? Just in a really negative, unhealthy place. Got back home, I had a plan to go for a run, but I did not wanna go for a run at all. But I knew that I needed to go. I knew in my heart that I needed to go and reconnect with my body and kind of give myself a pep talk and get myself out of this negative thought pattern that I was stuck in. So I turned on my jams, I went for a run, and I really just had a heart to heart with myself. I'm like, what is it? This is so weird. Is it emotional? If it is emotional, what is it? What is it really? And I figured out that it wasn't something deeply emotional because I've been feeling really stellar, honestly. And I figured out that the night last night I had watched a really great movie with Reese Witherspoon in it and she looked fabulous. She looked a lot thinner than she usually does. And what I realized is I started comparing myself to her. Every time she'd get in a new outfit, I'd be like, mm, can, I, can I pull that off? That's so cute. I don't, I don't think I'm thin enough to wear that. I don't think, and I was just creating this really unhealthy relationship with my body because I was comparing myself to Reese Witherspoon at this time and then to other people in the gym this morning. So the first thing that I did is I just started loving up on my body. I started to apologize and say sorry because I know that my body does a lot for me and she is awesome and she gets me around every day and I can hike mountains and I can walk and I can see and I can hear. And so I really just said, I'm sorry and apologized and was grateful for my body and kind of just loved up on her a little bit and reconnected with her. And now I feel great. I'm no longer having a fat day, it was only a fat morning. So here's the deal, here's what I did just to break it down for you. Number one, realize what it is and figure out where it stems from. Is it stemming from something emotional? Is your husband not picking up around the house and it's stressing you out so you're just beating up on yourself? Is work really stressful? Are your kids stressing you out and you're just turning on yourself? If it's emotional, deal with that problem. If it's superficial, like the example I gave to you today, you just need to check yourself, sister. Check yourself before you wreck yourself and figure out that your body is amazing and she does amazing things for you every day and she gives to you every single second. In this second right now, she is giving to you. And then number three, apologize. Be grateful for everything she does for you and reconnect. All right, if you're having a fat day, use these tools and let me know how it works for you. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Good, good stuff there. All right, don't forget about my free weight loss success kit. This success kit is all about partying with life so you can lose weight for good. Visit SuccessfulWeightLossSchool.com for instant access.